I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That is encouraging. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. I wonder why I still take these things. Well, since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. I should get rid of all this stuff. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology.
A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. I have business here to attend to. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sharafield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. 
But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. The sender's label mentions Warehouse. That's right. And you think that is what go to Doc. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. 
Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Natural sciences, linguistics, dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. All I have to do is go to the port. I Just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water.
Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Optimistic. Are you stupid or what? Even your captain told you not to stick your noses around here again. There's nothing for you here this either. Isn't your home, Beat you it. Bunch of sad crabs. We go where we want. Hey, you'll get us into trouble. There's nothing for You're you here either. Trouble. Beat it. Come on, can we sort this out? You can see he's half drunk. There's nothing to sort out. Your chum wanted to stir us up. <laughs> but you can stay to watch if you want. You can pick up the pieces. Come on, you bastard. You'll see what a true sailor's got in his belly. You hear that? You Bildreds don't scare me! What did he call us just now? I said you were a Bildred. And even a... a boxed limpet! You think we don't know what you're doing? Hidden in the fog? I'll shut up your big mouth once and for all! Optimistic. Are you stupid or what? Even your captain told you not to stick your noses around here again. This isn't your home, you bunch of sad crabs. We go where we want.
force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. You saw it just like me. That bum deserved a lesson. Yeah, but he's regular, and you're not. I can see that you and I are off to a bad start. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. 
I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland. Then... I've got what I need. Anything else? That'll be all for now. What you looking at, stranger? I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Ah, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof! Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. 
If I had to bring all the girls before Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. like this and the doctor what did he say he laughed my god you said she will do it again you know who the girl doctor cold she won't stop asking not that again charles hawkins was a heavy drinker and a debtor Interesting. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This man and Fitzroy could be twins.
What a macabre souvenir. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman cat. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth? and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. Ha! <laughs> Indeed, you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you. But with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy. 
captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Can you tell me where the warehouse is again? Look, I've already shown it to you. It's the one with the cop on guard duty out front. You can't miss it. Understood. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiot. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Somebody's stealing from the bootlegger's stock of liquor. Hello, old friend.
Saint Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. I have no idea what it says. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you. Our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to Dark Water? That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. St. Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Come on, you can tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience. Quiet. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, the lot of you. It'll stink less.
I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. What are you guarding, exactly? Listen, Bonehead, we already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. Cap, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes? She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> she sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. What will Kat say when she finds out that it's you who are filching stock? You've got no proof. That's true. Apart from this little note from your friend here. You didn't throw it away? I couldn't know that someone was gonna force the lock. What a f... So what is it you want? To get into the Hawkins warehouse. That's all. Go on then. And we never want to see your rat snout again. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's... dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has... affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. You again? I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to our mental You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave.
A handle? It must come from these old winches. This ratchet device seems to be usable. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Ugh. <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
This is primitive. Ah. Oh. This place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? What happened here? Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is, has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. 
Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why, you... Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That is the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Your partner Andrews warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kinda unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know. Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha. Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. 
I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. No question of leaving now. I must examine the scene of the fire. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Sturdy and well sharpened. Sturdy and well sharpened. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined, but the architecture seems too recent.
flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Is the caretaker still around? Evidence here suggests he is. It's surprising indeed. Let's try to keep our eyes open. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What Charles Hawkins' grave? Who could... Poor kid. The axe is gone. I'd better be on my guard. The axe is gone. I'd better be on my guard. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, 
Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. This gate is locked. Bourbon. Empty, of course. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. Rather Spartan. The caretaker has simple tastes. The poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on?
The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Charles and Sarah's wedding, as painted by Sarah herself. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? They had a fight. Why? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Did it stop at the time of the fire?
Did someone escape the fire? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, Detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. This door is blocked from the outside. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818.
A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Locked.
the boys' room. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What will her room reveal about her? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. This padlock is too complicated for me. It's no use. The padlock won't give. This door is locked. It's no use. The padlock won't give. It's no use. The padlock won't give. The door is blocked on the other side. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life.
This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Bradley? Is that you? Is anyone there? Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go?
It looks like an old seaway map. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Do you re really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater's shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the foot. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. <laughs> Great. I managed to force the gears. Looks like I've triggered something. I'd be better off not touching them for the moment. Charles Hawkins was a sort of traveler, right? More like an adventurer, I guess. He left for months, exploring remote places and abandoned temples. Secret passage, under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. Three seats. Look. Someone's been here recently. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? What is this mask supposed to represent?
This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Sarah Hawkins. Was she hiding from someone? Whoever was sitting here could have seen Sarah Hawkins. Could this be related to her death? This symbol, what does it mean? Disfigured saint. What does it mean? Of course. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. These paintings must be several centuries old.
This monstrous creature must be an allegory. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? These buildings seem to have come out of the water. Time has weakened these structures. I don't have time to search them all. This oil again, what is it used for? What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. A table for sacrifice? A mass grave.
I got it. What? What? It can't breathe. What's happening? No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. Yes, it is time. You will soon be one of us, if your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I can't read Latin. <laughs> 